everybody, this is Kurt from Mobile Tech Talk and today we're going to be unboxing and having a walkthrough of the new Aoki LS02 smartwatch which is basically Aoki's foray into sort of the affordable smartwatch game um, because I know a lot of people do affordable smartwatches nowadays but Aoki are kind of making it more affordable than, than the average smartwatch nowadays and trying to make it as much as um, feature rich you can get in a smartwatch nowadays anyway. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go down to the desk after the intro, go through the details of the smartwatch, see what you get in the box and what kit you're getting for your money, and then you know, at a later date in a later video I'll fully review it for you as well on this channel. So stick by and I will unbox this device for you and we'll see what's going on with it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so let's get into the nitty gritty of it, shall we? To see me babble on for a good, what, two minute pre intro thingy. Um, and we'll unbox the Aoki LS02 smartwatch, see what you get in the box, see what you're getting for your money, and we'll have a quick walkthrough of the device as well to see what is going on with it. So, on the front of the box, very straightforward, really, to be honest with you. You know, it's a device, what's £30 retailing right now at the moment on Amazon, for example. Um, so, it's not going to be like an all sort of encompassing, you know, amazing looking box. You know, it's meant to be a cheap watch, and they're trying to invest a lot of their money into the device itself, of course. You know, you want to make sure that. You're getting as much as you can for the money you're spending on it, and I don't think people care about the, the, the box the device comes in. As long as it's presentable enough, people will give it a chance and you're good to go from there, really. So, on the front, you have the obviously the wonderful Aoki smartwatch font, I guess, really. I'm not sure what font that is, to be honest. Does it really matter in the first place? Uh, there we are. So, then you've got, obviously, the watch itself, of course, on the front of it, and obviously the model as well. Going on the sides, really nothing of importance there. It does say at the side, you probably can't see that, to be fair, but it says, go green with Aoki. You probably can't, because I've washed out the colours on this wonderful, wonderful recording device. Um, on the other side, I'll say the same thing, go green with Aoki. I'm not sure if that's uh, a double entendre of some form, but there we are. Uh, and then you have the wonderful things here which tells you where it was made, what the company is, where you can get in touch with them, and there you go. But obviously, if that's not what I want to see, we're not reviewing a box here, for example. You know, we're in view reviewing a smartwatch, you know. So we'll unbox this and we'll go from there. So get rid of this sleeve, don't really need it, I'm gonna throw that somewhere. Um, right, so there we are, so let's open the box. Obviously you are first of all presented with, well, the watch effectively is obviously in its all wonderful sort of foam little um, outskirting gear, I guess really. So yeah, so it comes in a nice little packaging, I guess really, you know, it keeps it safe, keeps it comfortable, you know, it's not in transit, it's not going to scratch itself or in transit, you know, it's very much safe from what you get there. So there's obviously the um, Aoki smart watch there. I can actually do that. You don't want to see my ugly beard. That's not what you want to get from this video. But obviously, there you go. There is the watch itself, of course. I'll put that to the side just for the time being. I'll put it in shot, actually, first of all, because you can't actually see that thing. So there we are. There is the watch on the side there. And in the box um, and the rest of the contents, really, you get a bit of foam. If you like to do some DIY, then you can do whatever you that as what you'd please. Um, you also get a proprietary charger for this. It's magnetic as well, which is great to see, I guess, really, you know, because obviously... It's not exactly the most, you know, in, in intricate thing to do in the first place. Just pop it on the back of the device and then you're good to go there for you. So then you're good to go on that. If it will actually focus, are you going to focus? No, you are not. Wonderful. All right, so there's a charger. And then underneath this, you just get, you know, the usual spiel of the user manual, of course. So there's the user manual. There we are. My webcam is being absolutely atrocious today, but there we are. Um, oh, there we go. So there you are, the user manual, obviously use this as your bible as such, I guess, for these devices. This device is very straightforward though, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's a very, very straight and narrow device. It's, you don't really need to do much with it and much setting up really in, in general. Um, and the final thing you get in the box here, if I can get it out with my nimble fingers, um, you get a nice cool looking uh, warranty card there as well. Look at that, eh? Doing like that, it says 24 month product warranty on any Aoki device. I believe any Aoki device you get from them, if indirectly or directly, you will always get a 24 month warranty with that as well, which is really, really good for a lot of warranties out there. I mean, it's pretty standard, let's be honest, but it's still, 
you know, pretty close. Uh, and that's the box, you know, it's a box, so do we really care about what it looks like? No, not really. So here's the watch itself. I'm going to go through some details of the device as well while I'm here. So this is the Alki LS02 smartwatch. Um, so the Alki LS02 smartwatch, um, it uh, has a 1.4 inch TFT screen and it's a 320 by 320p resolution display. Um, it's got a lot of things to it which do, you know, have a lot to be good for, if you get what I mean. It doesn't really make any sense, I'm not really speaking English at the moment. But basically it's got a lot of features, this watch. You know, for a, a, a product was £30, it shouldn't be, it's, it's sacrilege how much you can really do, to be honest. So what we'll do, we'll turn this device on and we'll walk you through the usual stuff you get with this. I've already set this up technically, so what you'll see is different to what, you know, you'll get, I guess, really. Um, so here is the device. It's saying low battery because I need to charge it. Um, let me just do it this way actually so you can actually see what's going on here. So um, so the, the main thing you've got on this device which is uh, really really good for what I think anyway. So it's got IP68 waterproofing which is quite amazing really you know. I mean I know waterproofing a device so, so small isn't exactly going to break the bank for Alki. But it's still nice to have that feature in the first place, you know. So um, I do appreciate anything I can throw at this. You want to make sure it's competitive as possible in the market of smartwatches right now because they are really, really, you know, uh, it's a competitive marketplace at the moment. Yeah, it's not an Apple Watch site kind of thing, you know, where you, you're going to need to make a, a device as expensive as possible, make it as premium looking as possible, and, you know, people will pay whatever odds it is. You know, that's not what we're there for. These devices are made just for fitness tracking, heartbeat, heart rate monitoring, as long as you can track your activity in a general scheme of things, and also track your notifications as well. As long as you can do all them, then you're good to go really, you know, you don't need that much, you know, if you're not materialistic as a person, you're not going to need a £500 Apple Watch with stainless steel etchings of the Bible inscripted in the side of it, you know, you don't really need that sort of thing, you just want something that's simple, straightforward and you're good to go, you know. Right, so... Looking at the device itself anyway, so if we just go to the sides, um, so I'll go to the back first, you can see it flashing at me, like some sort of HAL device. Um, so you can see there at the back, uh, you've got the heart rate monitor of course, and that little bit there at the top is just the charging coil there. So there we go on that one. Uh, see if we can get a bit of a better view on that. If you can, you're going to zoom, you're going to focus, you're going to focus, there we go. So there we are, there's the back of the device there for you. Um, just goes through all the details on the sides of there you can see as well um, LS02 uh, for your 500 milliamp hour battery um, and it's got a 5 volt input as well so moving to the front of the device we'll see if this works because more than likely it won't but we will see so it will focus it does indeed wonderful so what you can see there at the front if you can actually find the side button again there we are. So you can see the front interface is quite straightforward, really. You know, it's not going to win any awards for a user interface design, let's be honest. Um, but it, it's, it's really good, you know, it's good for what you need. And you can see there at the bottom, um, it actually loads up. Is it going to load up? Well, it is loading up. Is it actually going to focus? Uh, well, it's focusing slightly anyway. But I'll sort of talk you through it anyway in a minute. So um, you have, well, you're trying to read my heart rate right now, but you've got here. I need to make sure I can change my settings. So you've got the heart rate monitor there, you have your calories burned there, you have your step counter there, and you also have your distance you have done in a day, which is great. And in the top corners, you've got the date, you have got the day, and you've also got the current weather, which when you link it up to your phone, you will obviously see, and it will link to your weather app you've got. So even if you've got an iPhone, for example, it will still link to your weather application of choice as such, so you can go from there, really. So going from this, so you can, obviously you've got a lot here. So you can, so what you do is you download the Alki Fit application from the application store of your choosing. So if you've got an iPhone on the App Store, if you've got an Android phone on the Google Play Store, the Alki Fit application is on both of those. You pair the device up with it through the Alki Fit application. It then talks you through some general settings like your age, your weight, your height, so you can be slightly embarrassed because of the lockdown weight you may have gained, you may not have, and not want to judge. I've done the same thing. Anyway, so when that does link up, it basically does it, does it all for itself. In the AlkiFit application, you can track your fitness through there, which it does have 12 sports modes on this as well, which means you can get accurate fitness tracking for running, cycling, mountain climbing, walking, and quite a few more activities as well. I mean, obviously you've got target goals as well and all that sort of good stuff. 
So that's what the main thing is on the Alkifit application. You can see everything in there. And then when you do set it up through that, you also get notifications. So being an Apple user myself, you know, when you've got an Apple Watch or whatever, it works in conjunction very well with each other. Um, but you know, it's you know, you want a device that gives notifications for a lot of things, which this device does. It doesn't do it exactly well, but it still gives you notifications all the same. That's the main thing. So getting this up here, and you've got the widgets. So I'll show you the widgets next. So what you've got here, if you slide to the side here, um, you might not see that, but it says take a break which are your breathing exercises, um, basically, on that one there. So it's basically, you know, taking a deep breath. For mental health right now, that is an amazing thing to have, I think, in my opinion. Um, because at the moment, taking a deep breath and taking a minute for yourself can mean the world to anyone at the moment. So it's definitely worth having. When you scroll down here, you obviously that's back to your front page. When you've got your distance walked, you've also got your steps and your K calories, what you've burnt in that day as well. Um, so that is wonderful to see as well that you've got that as its own widget. Uh, you've also got your heart rate on that at the same time. So you can just basically measure your heart rate and things like that. Um, and obviously you'll go that consistently throughout the day. And you also have um, a sleep tracker as well, which is one of the main thing what I like about this device is the fact that the features you get on it is quite amazing, to be fair, I think. Really, really, really good. Um, and next of all, I believe that is, oh no, but I also got the weather as well. So you get a, an in-brief weather forecast there for you as well. I'm sorry but the focus on this one it isn't exactly amazing. I obviously need to fix that in the future. Um, and then it was got back to take a break again, and then you go back to your watch face. Um, if you swipe down, you can see your quick settings there, so you can click on that, um, which basically puts it into not disturb mode. Not that you can see it anyway, but it's, you know, there, and you can see it, you see it, you wanna see it, you wanna see it. No. no. Okay. There we are. Anyway, well, the premise is there anyway, I guess. Got a settings menu, um, so you can see uh, you can change your watch face, for example, which is great. You don't get many to choose from, but you know you've got like a you know analog, you've got digital, you've got digital but extravagant, and also a simplistic version of the analog one as well. Uh, you've also got a Find My Phone feature, which won't work, so obviously it's not better from a phone right now because I've had to charge it. Uh, you've got a settings menu, again, and you've got all the other, so you've got a brightness settings, about, and I think that's it. Now you've got a switch off and reset as well. And also the top here, the top left on my end, um, is the battery life as well. So um, it's a really, really impressive device, really. You know, it's made out of plastic, of course. I mean, it's a device that's £30, as I keep saying. The strap is more of a rubberized effect, because um, obviously it's more for sports use in the first place anyway. So it's more like more to be sweat resistant in that way at the same time. Um, the watch strap is, I believe, um, 20 millimeters, I believe. Um, but obviously, it's not a proprietary version of a watch strap in the first place. You can use whatever you want on that as well. Your own watch strap if you'd like to, and you can go from there. Um, battery life on this thing, uh, you get about 20 days battery life. Now, I've had this for roughly about a week now. I've only charged it once. This is the first time I've actually charged it up again. So, it does last, I'd say, probably, I mean, I got it at 50%, and I, that was after a week I'd charge it. So if you think about it that way, 20 days is probably an accurate amount to have. Um, and obviously, I've already mentioned sleep tracking, of course. And the main also other thing as well on this device is it also withstands quite extreme temperatures as well, which is great if you're, you know, in a European country or in like Scandinavia or something or whatever country it is. It doesn't have to be what a specific country. What's well, got colder climates, you know, up to minus 20 degrees, um, minus 20 degrees um, Celsius on the um, cold side, I guess, really. And it can go to 45 degrees Celsius on the warm side of things as well. In Fahrenheit, in Fahrenheit that's minus 4 and um, 113 degrees Fahrenheit as well. So, there we have it. I will stop rambling for now. Uh, but there is my first impressions and first look at the... Oh, uh, first look at the LS02 smartwatch from Aoki. Um, keep it out on mobiletechtalk.co.uk. The links are going to be in the description there for you. So you can have a look at the review when it goes live. Or look at my reviews in general. You don't have to. I'm never paid to say that. So you can do whatever you want. Um, but like I say, guys, I appreciate and girls, of course. Uh, thank you very much for your time there. I do appreciate this. I'm very new to the whole YouTube thing. So I do apologise, but it's very you know, not as professional as you'd usually see. So um, I appreciate it. I appreciate you sticking around. Keep it on mobiletechtalk.co.uk um, and links will be in the description for the device as well if you want to buy it yourself to Amazon. Uh, but take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.